Run it back. Why are people complaining about having jollof rice and potatoes on the on the same Christmas plate? Nah, sorry, but that's a bit mad. Still, what? All those carbohydrates in one space? Yeah, the plate whack off. Potatoes. Yeah, and, and jollof rice and macaroni cheese, bro. Yes. Bruv. Nah, I couldn't. What? Nah, I saw that plate on Twitter. And I that plate was succulent. Up. That's a fuck off <laughs> with with the gra with gravy. That was, and the, it's, what? The fact, it's the fact that his caption was before gravy. Yay! So you know it slapped. What if the jello fries and the gravy touch? Yes! Nah, that's dead. Don't forget macaroni and cheese, potato, rice, and the. What's the distance? The chicken. No. The the, the bowl distance. What's it called again? What? What's the bowl thing called, bruv? The little small distance. Yorkshire pudding. Yorkshire. Not the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> not the bowl. <laughs> I'm gr nah. Honestly, I would rather have a. I wouldn't put all of that on one plate. Nah, it'd give me anxiety, man. I'm getting wet thinking about how great Christmas dinner is going to be because, wow. I would have an anxiety attack, bro. I will go into a food coma. And you should just stay there to be honest. We, need, we don't need people like you. <laughs> 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 no, I don't know. No, 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 no. I just know. No. Anyways, guys, however you want to eat on Christmas, it's up to you. Don't listen to me. I'm just a normal Don't I'm listen to her because you don't know what you're talking about. Uh, listen, I like a nice jello fries chicken. If I want more, Tell I me will play. Okay, my plate is fried rice and jello fries combined. Not com like on the side, so you have one uh, fried rice, one jello fries. Then I like plantain dodo gizza giz dodo, so gizza and dodo. Then chicken, then a salad. I wouldn't mind a mac mac and cheese with this one. I could put mac and cheese, and then um maybe hag maybe hag. Or okay, something. do you know when my red flag was flagging? When? When you said salad. Why am I eating salad on Christmas Day? <laughs> <laughs> Why am I eating salad on Christmas Day? Because you have to balance the nutrients, bruv. You get? No! Just because it's Christmas doesn't mean you don't do your five Let a day. Let me tell you my plate, yeah? Right, Go on, here. Are you ready? Go on. So, okay, where do I start? I'm trying to figure out how they're going to lay out the food on Christmas Day. So, <laughs> my mouth is even worth thinking about it. Oh! <laughs> So we're gonna have okay, cause you know I've got my dreams in the fam. So we're gonna have jollof rice. We're gonna have plain rice because we don't do recipes around here. Um, we're gonna have stuffing. We're gonna have succulent turkey because you dry turkey bandits. Still. Yeah, you 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 lot that quick cook turkey. You are criminals, bro. Criminals gonna have gonna have curry goat. What's a bit of curry goat. Gonna have a bit of lamb. What else we gonna have? Gonna have a bit of um, pepper prawns. Gonna have a bit of coleslaw. <laughs> Ah, what else we're gonna have? Fried chicken. Ah! Every every fucking meat on the plate from every animal. Meat. Every meat. Nah. Every animal will be on my plate. That nigga will be a zoo. She said. She London Zoo will be on my plate. <laughs> <laughs> Call me the zookeeper. <laughs> zookeeper. <laughs> zookeeper. <laughs> Call me Joseph. She said. <laughs> she, said, she, said, she said, "You even—it's not even Joseph. It's fucking—it's it? fucking Abraham. Bro. Abraham. No, it's not even Abraham. There's no one, bro." <laughs> <laughs> she said, "Give me my ark. The ark will be plates. The ark will be plates. Nothing. You know you're fucking dumb." <laughs> <laughs> hey, nah, 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 nah. Everything you might as well, fam. You might as well just spit roast the whole fucking cow at this <sighs> point. Carnivals, bro. Yes. Carnival. Oh, I, I said I want salad. And the, and the pasta. She said lamb, lamb, it, chicken, nah, fried chicken, curry goat, pork, and 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 prawns in one plate. Oh, the pepper. Pr hey, you see my aunt, yeah. Hold tight to my aunt, yeah. Hold tight to my aunt. Mm. Cause she does the baddest pepper prawns, yeah. <laughs> when I tell you these pepper prawns be be prawnsin, these prawns be prawnsin, <laughs> these prawns be prawnsin. <laughs> <laughs> I might need to spend Christmas at your store. Hey! Think there's gonna be bare foods. But I like I like I like Christmas that man. I just don't like when there's too many things on my plate at once. 
and my mind goes into overdrive. You I don't know, know where to start. You know the one thing I got for Christmas so far? What? Guess. Uh, uh, body spray. No. Cream. Got, got containers. Containers. Nah, you're on job. It's when I go home. You're on job. It's a serious thing. It's a serious thing. Trust me. It's the best thing about going home for Christmas dinner. You will go home and you will stack your pussy in the freezer. It will last you something solid, else. solid. I really thought you said something else. What would I say? I you said stack your pussy. I was like, what? You stack my pussy for Christmas. That's what, <laughs> That's what it sounded like. I was like, what? Stack my pussy for Christmas. <laughs> I'm finished. Wrap it up. <laughs> what is your favorite Christmas movie? Um, The Grinch, you saw Christmas. Do you know what? I think The Grinch is also my favorite Christmas you know, movie. Me and The Grinch can relate. I'm Grinchiana. They know me. That's my cousin. Mm. I get it. Like, why is everyone happy and I'm unhappy? No, I get no, why they're, they're happy. <laughs> like, every other day of the year, I'm just like, I get it. I'm the Grinch. I get it. The Grinch has cheeks as well. The Grinch do have cheeks. No, the Grinch. You don't see it. The Grinch has cheeks. The Grinch do have cheeks. No, I love that movie. I think I like Elf as well. I think that's really cute. Okay, yes. yes elf, yes. you know, the, 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 the giant elf yeah. that yes. is actually a human and ends up in the elf factory. Yeah. What's the other one? Um... Oh, there's another one. It's not Home Alone. Home I was Alone. about to say Home Alone. Home Alone's bait. But there's another one. Oh, I, forgot the, I forgot the actor's name, but yeah. Hold tight to that one. I'm doing it. Because I know I can see it in my head, innit? So as long as I understand. <laughs> as long as you know who it is, that's all that yeah, matters. As long as I know what I'm talking about. That's all that no, but I do like, the, I do like the, the Christmas sea movies. I haven't watched that black one that just came out um, mm. with um, the with ZZ man. Mills. I can't remember who it is, but it's a UK one that's just come out. Yeah. So I definitely need to need to check that one out. Mm. But generally, I like I don't I, I prefer the Christmas songs to the Christmas movies. Mm. I feel like Christmas is the songs, the music, yeah. as opposed to those uh, cinematic experience. Because most of them, like really and truly, I haven't seen one that is like a classic that is what a movie that's like, a like movie. that's like new that's like yeah, new yeah, exactly yeah. all the classics are like old given vhs oh, vhs it 30 um, times you know i, I like g- g- cinematographers like i can, I can isn't I can. there one that tyler perry did Ty- there's nothing that tyler perry has not done <laughs> there's a christmas movie he done i can't remember am i bugging the only Tyler Perry movies I've watched are the, are the Medea ones. Nah, I've actually watched better. Shout out to Medea. Like, there's, <laughs> Medea movies are fucking hilarious. No, what was it when... <laughs> Wait, no. What was it when she was ripping out the girl's clothes, Diary of My Black Woman? Oh, my God. Diary of a Man Black Woman. What did she say? She Crazy. Goes, ah, what did she say? <sighs> oh, I'm just... Jo- yeah, she goes, oh, this is for a wink. And then she's like, I've got a whoop ass. <laughs> No, it's like can't pop I'm her. done. Can't it's pop the scene her. for me where I think the husband was cheating and she throws him in the bath and starts sprinkling him with the with the shower run and she's like literally attacking him like the kink the kink in her man just oh, left wait, the building. Oh, is it after he hurt himself? Is it after he's in the yeah, wheelchair? Yeah, he's in the wheelchair. And he's in the wall like this. <laughs> he's in the wall like this. You can see the bubbles. I'm done. Nah, those are the type of movies I live for. But what's your favourite Christmas song? Um, I don't have one. They're all shit. Do you know what? Yeah, my one is the Destiny's Child one. Um, doesn't it feel like Christmas? Does this feel like Christmas? Christmas? Does it feel like? Christmas? Christmas? Feel like Christmas? Do you know what? Yeah, that song slaps. I mean, Mariah Carey. Yeah, everyone's talking about Mariah. Car- Listen, that song is is tired. I love it. It's, but it's so tired. tired yeah. It's so tired, man. You know, you come out of the shower, yeah, and you don't cream your skin, and then you leave your ass, and it's bare. And your skin's bare. Actually. Sahara That's Desert. That song. Sahara Desert, we have squeezed the moisture out of all that stuff <laughs> with every fucking uh, shop, every radio station. We have squeezed the Do you moisture. You know how dead it is to be working in retail during Christmas. <gasps> oh my days! I remember I used to work at River Island back in the day, and um, I swear they played the same like eight songs from eight Christmas nah, songs. I won't, I won't lie to you though. Um, when I used to work in Nike Outlet, yeah, uh-huh. I was doing a Christmas shift, just you know, folding my clothes. They're like, all I hear is. Let it snow. <laughs> From Boys of Manor City, Do you know which song I just deeped? Um, the one that Justin Bieber did with Boys to Men. Um, what is that song? Oh my God, it's gonna fry my brain. What Wait. song did you do with Boys to Men? Just um, baby, I hear 
melodies when your heart beats baby it sings to me like fa la 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 are you done <laughs> Justin Bieber this is when Justin Bieber was in his black bag this is when he was mixed race this is when he was given um, ambiguous this is when he was given ethnic ambiguous <laughs> ethnicity like I swear to god that song was bagging I'm so but I'm telling you there's some songs that need to rest there's also one that people simply having a wonderful Christmas nah, t- back in the day in school during lunchtime that song used to slap you know when you're waiting. You know you're waiting in line for your Christmas dinner because you pay for it because mum mum patterned you. Yeah. I was free school meal still. No, but, no, but <laughs> Christmas dinner though, like it was. I think you get to like pay for like type of food, just the, the trimmings, the everything. turkey, the turkey and the gravy. Everything, everything, any, anything. In the line waiting. Yeah, was Christmas dinner at school slapped. I remember, like I used to from year. Eight to year eleven, I never queued once. Yeah, eight to year eleven. I'm talking about year six, my G. Oh, I'm with talking the, nah, 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 nah. Man, before Jamie Oliver screwed us all over. Do you know what it was? Yeah, with them was I. You know, them was they had the partitioning. Mm. They, you, they didn't in my school. They didn't have the the plates, the big boy plates. Mm. They had the partitioning. And the prison distance. The prison distance. So there was a restriction. Do <laughs> prison bacon on the school. amount of food <laughs> that you can have. Like, the piss. Uh, listen, I've been a big girl, you know. Mm. Why have, am I? Getting Getting one strip of turkey, one sh- two, three, right, three, turkey. three potatoes. You want to give me three potatoes? Three. And the thing is, yeah, one's even lopsided like this. So really, truly, you got two point five. You got two point five potatoes and 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 a fucking and stuffing wet gravy. and yeah. a stuffing, Watery no gravy. lumpy gravy because you lot you lot put it in your industrial part <laughs> and you miss some points in the mixture. <laughs> you missed some corners. You've missed some corners. There's some gravy at the corner, the bottom of the pot. That you didn't mix. That you didn't mix. And it's not gravy <laughs> like you made it like you boiled the chicken. It's that you poured the granules and into the it. pot. You put the hot water and started mixing and you missed some. So now I've got lumpy gravy. Oh. No, it was when I went to secondary school. With secondary school Christmas oh, dinner, yeah, when yeah, we are yeah. now, when they re- recognize that we are big boys and big girls. You school. wanna roll with the big boys? Listen, <laughs> you wanna cheat with the bamba? Do you know what? Can I just say TikTok kills me all the time. Hey, I think twenty twenty two, I would like to I would like to roll with the big boys. Mm. No, I would like to roll with the bambas, and I would like to chill with the big boys. Yes, yes, I would too. You know. I hope to. I hope to chill it with more big boys. Name. I hope to chill with more big boys in happen. 2022. It will happen. But guys, I want to. I want to say welcome. I want to say hi to you because I like you. My name is Madam Joyce. Welcome to Cocktails and Takeaways. This is our Christmas episode, and we have, of course, the most amazing content creator. The baddest, the sexiest, the caramel-looking babes. Uh, caramel? I'm a black babe. But God, you can yeah. be caramel. The thing is, you can be not caramel as in like mixed race. You can mm. you you you're giving caramel. Mm, I'm giving Guys, sweet. You, you already know you're giving sweet. I'm giving sweet. Do you know what? I should have got crackers. Oh, I missed it, man. Don't worry. You know but why? But do you like my Christmas tree? You got the tree. tree. You got the tree. And you got the oh, hats. Christmas. Tree. Can I just say? Do, why do people do like Christmas caroling and that? I've never known such a useless activity in my in life. Christmas and you, why do they? Why do they make us do it in primary school in the cold? In the cold, in our school skirts, in, in our park, school with, skirts with, with the old people watching us, and they were loving it. Why were the old people watching the small kids? The small girls in their school skirts singing. I smell a lawsuit. <laughs> Fam, I'm sure them lots, I'm sure they reco- them lots recorded it and rewatched it. At and that home. was before the law where you couldn't record kids. I smell a lawsuit. I, police! I would like you to file this investigation immediately. Because what on earth did they have us doing in the codes? Honestly, to be singing stupid, uh, Oh hey, oh ye hey. What's the, what is the, and it wasn't even the banging Christmas. We were singing Mariah they Carey. They were the slapping ones. They were the e ye old thou <laughs> Christmas song. I'm trying to think. Oh Christmas tree, <laughs> Christmas tree, <laughs> not oh Christmas tree. Hey, what was number one? No, but why? Hold on. Can we break down that song? Because why were we singing Oh Christmas? Why were we singing to the Christmas tree? First of all, am I even Christian? It's no given- one asked me if I was Christian or not when I was in primary school. So how did this work? It's given cultists, you know, because why are we are we worshiping the Christmas tree? Nobody asked me if I celebrate Christmas in primary school. They didn't care. They had all the Muslim girls singing "No oh, Christmas Tree" or oh, "Christmas Tree." Bro. I'm just very confused. They really did. I can they see did care. Yeah. They really had Shamima singing "Oh Christmas Tree, Christmas Tree," and she's Islamic. Anyway, I smell a lawsuit. <laughs> no primary school coming for you. <laughs>
It's CNT, baby. There was this thing happening on the internet that apparently, in order for a guy to take a girl out to a nice place, there has to be the assurance that the woman is going to sleep with him. It's giving predator. It's giving rapist. It's giving predator. Guys, like so much has happened on social media this week and especially uh, this massive situation that happened with um, with uh, Brini Lee and another gentleman called Ko- Kojo the Clown, aka Kojo the Comedian, you know, aka... You know, you, know, you, know, you know, you know them, so it's like... <laughs> no, who, which one do you know? Okay, never mind. I take it back. <laughs> but yeah, honestly, it's chaotic. Honestly, it's I just very... I feel like I, I'm I'm upset the fact that men have become less chivalrous, and it's now become a transaction. Because funny enough, the same thing happened to me, mm-hmm. where you know I did that. I did this back to back thing where I went on like a, a show, and it was like blind dating. Mm. And this guy yes. was, yeah, this guy was talking about, yes. right? So basically on this particular date, I was back to back with a guy and this guy said, I asked him, if you want to take me out, where would you take me? This nigga said bowling. He said bowling. I might as well get Nintendo fucking Wii and do that at home because what, what are you He said about? golf. Listen, if I'm on, if I'm on a first date with you, I want to look my best. Bowling! Someone take me to the river. The bowling? Bowling, so I can slap you as well. So now you so got two hours. Beat, on top of the thing is, my bowl. It's not that I can't play. My bowling game is so correct. You will lose, please. You will even lose. You will lose. So not only did you insult yourself by taking me there, you bowling, will, you will loud lose. bowling, L- bowling, like with the dirty seats, babe, babe. He said golf. Golf. He said golf. And the thing is, yeah. No, am to I be, To be hitting balls? Why am I hitting balls on the Stuff first like date? That, yeah. Dates like that is like when you're like comfortable and you're able to like say certain things and give certain jabs and just yeah. be cheeky in it. No. Not on the first date. Not on the first date. And I'm sorry, on the first date, I want to be looking sexy. I want to be looking like 15, 10. I want to be wearing the sexiest dress for you. I want to do my makeup. What? Where am and I going to wear that? That in shit bowling. costs. When guys be like, oh, but you be going on dates, you're not paying. Do you not think I pay for my dress? Do you not think I'm paying for my, my, my hands and my the feet? Ma- the, the, the manicure. The manicure. The hair. Because I lashes. know I'm not wearing that shoe without a fresh mani. Charlotte Tilbury, how much is it? It's fucking expensive. Please. The amount that we pay to get ready kind of matches Already. up to how much to Already. what they're paying at the date. Already, I can't even believe these conversations are still being had. It's disgraceful. It's giving embarrassing. Anyway, so... I was like, no, I'm not gonna go golf. I, I, I don't want. I was like, what? So I said, what about like what? Where's the wine and dine? Like, and where's he, they hear wine and dine and hear STK? Where where the wine and dine correlate with STK? We want to do wine and dine, and then the guy, the 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 guy now proceeded to say, but are you coming home with me? First of all, no respect, to, no disrespect to my guy. Yet. In fact, let me t- <laughs> because I wouldn't be going home even if that was the case. So, <laughs> like, first of all, let's all just like. See where we Wheel are it back. in the hierarchy. Wheel it back. Am I coming home with you after wine and dine? Don't make me disrespect you. It's the, like this. I, like if you want to, p- guys want to pay want to pay for sex without feeling like they're paying for it. Guys don't even tantalize your. Vi- you guys don't even get you like er, like on the date. They don't even get you like aroused to the point where you might think. Hmm, I want to mm, go, I home, could go with home with you. Yeah. You don't even tantalize me, but you expect me to just get there and just be just wet, get just, there just... because of because I ate. Ah. Well, I'm still I'm still recovering from uh, negritis ah. <laughs> in the restaurant. My belly is full. I'm on you a know? date. I'm dry as fuck. But you think we're going home? Going home to do something because what? of you? Yeah, they're crazy. They're crazy. They. I, I couldn't believe what I was flabbergasted. And it's the same thing that this other gentleman said on his podcast that if a girl is going out with you uh, that you should be having sex I was like raw on what planet for chicken for chicken and potatoes is it for uh, a carbonara carbonara uh, and and white wine that we're gonna be going home to be having sex I couldn't believe it it's the audacity and the entitlement what makes you think what makes you think that's gonna run it's I'm confused and you know what there's absolutely nothing wrong. I personally wouldn't do it, but if girls want to have sex on the first date, if you want to do, do it, if you want to do it, then that's yes. fine. 
that's your cup of tea but not because you felt like you paid for food for me i should now be going to be doing the hanky panky oh, in I your in your house and I, do you know what can i just say i'm so confused as to why guys are so comfortable to invite women into their bando cribs there's 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 weeds uh, curtains ain't washed in, in curtains months. have not been washed bed sheet looking dry as hell mattress looking matted like 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 it's the back of someone's wig like <laughs> have you not seen your cribs bruv glasses ain't been washed all week glasses smell like raw chicken like you just seasoned like raw chicken your house smells like uh uh red stew sofa's doing parcel parcel because it's uh, it's just it it looks it looks all over the place your house smells like tilapia fish i'm using free view remote on the camera there's no sky your mummy is upstairs there's no internet ah your mum's upstairs your mum is upstairs your mum's upstairs upstairs. and as i'm coming in you're telling you're telling me to off my shoe and you're now saying, Mate, can you miss, miss this hey, step? You, know, you, know you, you need to miss step this step. You know, you, step 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 <laughs> you know when you know when you open. Wait. <laughs> I'm gonna like melt into the step. You know, no, <laughs> fuck the step. That's a fun. Why is your house coming like Tomb Raiders, bruv? <laughs> we have to, we have to step. The first step is doing. <laughs> you know, so I like <laughs> You now open your door. It's not doing. <laughs> <laughs> You go to the toilet, you're scared to flush the toilet. Flush the toilet, bro. You're dead. <laughs> <laughs> you're sitting there thinking, do I need to flush the toilet? <laughs> Just necessarily. <laughs> do I do I need to? <laughs> that was your 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 you close the toilet so that the so that the, the sound of the flush is not too loud. Ah! You're now being flushed. Bro, that's what you want me to come home to. And the thing is, yeah, no, we say all this, and it's not even about what your house looks like. Because I don't give a toss in it. Everyone yeah, what everyone's it. But how dare you think that because you bought me food, barely, you think I now must open my legs and bust it. Like it's 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 entitlement. That's it's, the thing. No, it's, it's a big entitlement. It's entitlement, but it's it's given predator. It is hundred percent. It's given the R word. It's it's definitely given that. It's given it's given coercion. It's given, given rapey. It's given it's it's given rapey. And the fact that no one checked him when he said it is even more scarier. Because now it's one plus three more that think like that. Crazy crazy and i found it so weird because that exact same situation happened to me on that show earlier that week and i was like why do guys why have why has being nice to a woman that you are trying to court you i did it i was at home my business i was chilling chilling you came into my space you told me you like me you want to get to know me i'm Hmm. saying okay cool Hmm. you're asking for my time so why is it you asking for my time? I should now sleep with you, but you invaded my space. Like you take, you came to bother me. And you know what, yeah, you know what? Even if, even if I pressed you and said, "Oh, you know what? I want to go. I want to go. I want to go. I want to go." As a man, as a chivalrous man, if I tell you I want to go somewhere and you take me somewhere, why are we even? Even if I said leave your house, because usually they say, "Oh, if you, if if." I've taken you out your house and then they pay. And if you've taken someone else out your house, you have to pay. Okay. Nah, I'm a woman. I'm a Period. woman. Period, yeah, sorry. I'm a woman that smells nice, that washes, that washes her skin every day, that brushes her teeth day and night. Like, I don't understand the correlation. I just feel like some guys get it and some guys don't get it. The guys that get it, get it. And the guys that don't, don't. don't. Obviously, <laughs> you don't get it. You're just not that boy. You're just not that guy. <laughs> like, period. You just don't. Like, there's some guys that have that mindset, and it's not a thing to them to mm. take a woman out that they like. Mm. And maybe we won't have have sex on the first day, but sure, shit, we might have sex on the second day. You get like on the third or the fourth. Oh yeah, I wouldn't be having sex. In the, like, oh yeah, no, nah. I don't check. I don't. I don't have sex with people that I actually fancy. And I remember you telling me that. Yeah, no. Nah. Not really. You give it. You give him toxic femininity. Yeah, nah, no. But why do why do you why do you? Because it goes pear like it goes pear shaped yeah, every time. <laughs> do you know what? Funny enough, oh my god, I have the same thing. I <laughs> thought about myself. I don't have sex with guys that I would find that are better for me as friends in the long term. Wait, say so that one more time. Like, so I would never have. If you're my friend, mm-hmm. and I find you useful mm-hmm. in terms of like maybe what you do Mm -hmm. or, Mm -hmm. you know, in the long term, like I love how you think or Mm -hmm. your wisdom Mm -hmm. or I would never have sex with you. I have sex with people that if they were to leave my life, I wouldn't, it wouldn't be a loss. Mm. 
funny you say that. So weird, right? Very, because I just shag people I want to shag. I know, I'm so weird. Because the thing is, I feel like because I've dealt with so much, like, how do I say it? I've dealt with so many people coming and going and there's some really good friendship that I've lost Fair because enough. I've been intimate with them. That's why don't shag your mates. Oh, no, don't shag your mates, man. <laughs> don't shag your mates. Don't shag your mates. <laughs> Hot topics of the week. Anyways, guys, we're going to move on to hot topics of the week. What are you saying this week? Popular Shoreditch nightclub cargo loses license after failure to tackle crime. Have you ever been to Shoreditch uh, if you're, cargo? If you're partying in Shoreditch in the, in, in the 20th century, or 21st century, sorry, I have questions to ask you. Do you know what? Yeah, you've never been to cargo? Mm, don't think so. Cargo is like Cargo was because rest in peace to Cargo Festival. If anyone bare UK people watch this, so they will know Cargo. Like because for some reason, like it was the only place that they they ever allowed blacks. all the blacks to go into, <laughs> you know. But when you get there, it's just like a big fuck off warehouse, massive club mm. with different sections. And um, yeah, I've I've been to maybe like three or four times. Bear events are always held. They have a nice outdoor area, but there was always trouble. And t- can you explain to me? Why they thought that fifteen pound for a double and a mixer was okay? Might as well go shop myself and put the put the juice in my bra. They weren't searching anyway. Have you ever done that before? For, done what? Put uh, alcohol. I used, I, used, I used to put stuff in my wig, like the back. I used to think <laughs> of doing that. You know, I don't know it why. Works. I've never Every time. done that. You know the little small ones. The little, the, yeah, just put it in your, your underneath wig. your wig and the clip. Then you just put. <laughs> I need to start doing that yeah. because, bruv, I. I go to the club sometimes and I've seen who's I don't do it now because you know real niggas be <laughs> nah fuck <laughs> yeah but you can't always be right. respectfully you can't always be relying on guys to buy you drinks especially the shit not even relying but just like you know it's just pattern like okay if, if it's if it's like a if it's like an event that it's your friend running mm. or you're going with people you know mm. people there mm. but not all the time you're going to be coming and, and especially nowadays there's some guys that talk to me at the bar. Mm. You're you're toasting me. I'm at the bar. Mm. You're at the bar. Mm. You don't care to offer me a drink, but you want to ask for my number. No, it's it's bad question. You ask me bad questions, please. Put your card in the tap your the card. Chat. The chat. But um, tap your. I, do you know how rude that? No, no, no. Can we take the, how rude that is? Why are we here? You. I'm at the bar. You. I'm at the bar. Like this. Having a good time. You've come to me. You are at the bar. Coming to do hey, 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 my face move. And you don't offer me a drink. Well, he wants to ask 21 questions. You, sir, can get out. If, you, if, I, if I disgrace you at this bar, mm. it's giving rude. I just don't like that. I just do not like that. It's one of my pet peeves with guys, but I find it now it happens. Like guys, that, I don't know. Things have changed, man. Things have really changed. Like when people are out the streets, it's ugly. I think the streets is about as bad. The streets is ugly. Hey, when I got single, yeah, I said, "This is what you are dealing with." Hey, I want to go back. <laughs> do you know what? And that's what that's why uh, uh, Kanye is Kanye is trying to run back to Kim, and Kim's like, no. But do you you realize after people that get into long term relationships and leave, a lot of them are coming back. A lot of them want to go back. I ain't spending no goddamn block for as long as I for as long as I live, mate. What you want to go back to any of your exes? I would it's rather true, get wouldn't. salmonella. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather catch COVID. I'm trying to think. Is there any ex? I'd, no, there's not. There's not. What I rather do? I'd rather. What I rather do? I'd rather piss myself in public. I peed myself in public one time. I'd rather piss myself in public at an event oh, than shit. go back to my ex. <laughs> That's what I'd rather do. What else would I rather do? I'd rather, um, <laughs> I'd rather, mm, hmm. whatever, you, whatever I just thought of, I'd rather do it, right? <laughs> I'm finished. You were like, Ugh. Yeah, because I can't say that's mad. Criminal. Like, yeah. But yeah, no, shortage. When I think of shortage, I just think of piss. <laughs> I just feel like all the venues smell of piss. <laughs> so where'd you like to party? Not shortage. <laughs> She's clearly too good for us. That's why you're clearly too good. <laughs> no, when, when, you're, when you're always getting invited to all these uh, p- private events. Ah, uh, because even the private ones sometimes they be in Shoreditch. And I'm looking at it like, hmm. why is he in Shoreditch? What? Yeah, no, yeah, what like, so, so her things. So no, her I, things. I don't. I don't even like going out. To be honest, I wouldn't like you. I don't like going out. It's true. I'm kind of over all the party, and it's like once you've been to one, you've actually been to the hundreds of them. If there's fine men there, then hey, facts. But, but the fine men, fine boys, no money. <laughs> <laughs> all right we're gonna move on to the next hot oh, boy, topic oh. 
to be honest yeah can i just say the uk is killing me so literally this came out today simon case who was placed in charge of leading the number 10 christmas party inquiry investigation during lockdown last year has stepped down after claims emerged that he hosted his own christmas event during the same period the event that staff the event for staff took place in case's office on the 17th of december the day before the downing street party he allegedly had drinks for up to 20 staff in his white off his good job the occasion is said to have included drinks snacks and christmas decoration <laughs> oh my god simon case will be replaced by a veteran civil servant sue gray can i just say the uk government is fucking laughable it's a shambles they're taking the piss they're the taking the fucking piss whilst we were locked down in fear of our lives Oh, well, actually, at that time, I was enjoying I was drinking rain if you ever want But yeah, while most people were in fear of Most their people were in fear of their lives. Down the street, doing we're doing uh, cocaine and Prosecco. <laughs> doing that hard white and doing, a sex. <laughs> doing that hard white. They're taking the piss out of us. But they've been taking the piss out of us. And you know what, yeah? Uh-huh. Do you know what, yeah? It's the older, it's the older lot. They're, they're finally catching on. And I say finally as if most of them have, but he... I don't know if most of them have, but yeah, they're wearing now in it. We've been there that they take the piss. It's so, and the thing is, it's like it's back to back. So obviously, we had the situation with the Downing Street, um, mm. the the whole reveal of the Downing Street. Then we had, and we have all these different parties. So there's, there's, there's been bear Who's parties. All this shit though. I don't know. Someone is really snitching and shout is it out that to Collins them. Guy? whoever it is shout out because there was even one that um there was a picture that emerged um of a group of conservative aides who attended a christmas party another different christmas party there's a lot of christmas parties there yeah. was bare christmas parties what was everyone celebrating i want to know christmas isn't it can you see how even, many times can you celebrate christmas there's a picture here and um my santa was the wrong way around the whole time what was it there, there's there's a picture here with um another gentleman with with a group of it looks like conservatives at christmas party i'm seeing um uh canopies uh finger food they even have finger food look at this with the christmas hats look at this one look at look at where he's sitting look down at the, look at the jolly look mm. at the joy in their face this one said tis the season to be jolly Fa la 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 and we were locked down yep we were in our house and that that year it was hot that was when it was literally the the, the the peak of COVID where everybody was in panic mode. Every day the news was... No pro- tissue. No, no chicken. No chi- No, no tissue. Pasta. Nothing. Bare seasoning though. Nothing. There was bare seasoning, but there was no chicken. Bare seasoning, no chicken. Hmm. They were I probably they like- were probably seasoning the, the chicken with the tissue. <laughs> Is that what gave you the the char the char grilled the char grilled top of the just for a bit of texture? <laughs> <laughs> no man, they've been taking the piss. They've been listen. You see what you see how Boris looks dirty 20, every day. I keep saying all the time. He does it on purpose. He does it on purpose. Um, because we've told him so many times. No, he no he he, he does it on purpose to make the whole country feel like dishevelled and just like oh my gosh, we have a prime minister that, that looks like absolute shit every fucking day. Like he looks like he's. His 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 branding is looking confused and looking like he doesn't know what he's doing. That's and his it branding. really it really does emanate to the state of the nation. My guy had a dirty blazer. Confused. There was a cum stain on his blazer. <laughs> Fam, the num- another stain, another, another, ch- another child is gonna be on the way anyways. How could someone that's c- who's who's shagging this man? <laughs> Somebody that's so careless of contraception is running our How'd country. Have, no no no. How do you have sex with someone looks like that? Tell me no. With your eyes closed, bruv. <laughs> Even with my eyes closed, I could feel the ugliness. Do you, his breath looks like it smells like lager. How how do you shag someone that looks like that? How? How do you shag someone that's that's doing such a poor job? How? Do you Honestly, know? sorry, Boris out in it. Boris needs to go. It's time for him to go. He needs to mm, He needs to be out. He needs <laughs> Boris out! The whole the whole boy out. Luck get them out! I can't believe it. I can actually, but ah, and you know what's so crazy as well? How it's the Christmas party that taught everyone over the edge, well, taught the was over the edge. With but it wasn't everything that, ha- but it that wasn't everything that's else. the funniest thing about it. It's called white privilege. 
Right, guys, we're going to move on to the next topic of the week. And this is about a uh, Sweetie. So this week, Sweetie roasted over out of breath performance at the Jingle Ball performance. So Sweetie has come under fire after several clips of her performance from the iHeartRadio's Jingle Ball of her being out of breath and forgetting the lyrics went viral. Did you see that video? Absolutely terrible. Do you know this video killed me? It was like, guys, do you know what? Let me, can I just say this? I feel very sorry for artists because since being a performer, and when I mean performer, I'm talking about Beyonce performer, dancer, singer, all stage round. present, all rounder, mm-hmm. it wasn't too much of an issue until TikTok came about. Wait, what do you mean? Like, because I feel like people always care about bad performances. I feel like dancing, especially, I'm going to say particularly dancing, was never a thing for rappers. Fair enough. A lot of women, like you, I've never seen Nicki Minaj in her time trying to do this. They're my best friend. No, she, to be fair, no, she did around. Um, she did around Anaconda. Um, time. oh yeah, she did. To yeah, she was she doing did. the little. Okay, Tuesday. Okay, let me. Let, okay, let me allow Nicki Minaj. But I just feel like generally it wasn't that much of a thing yeah. for me growing up to see. Really, Janet Jackson. Okay. I'm a rapper. No, you said rapper. You said rapper. You okay, said maybe, rapper. maybe, I'm, maybe I'm no, thinking no, you, about no, things. No, you, you said rapper. You said rapper. What are you saying is true? What are you saying is true? I'm trying to think. Yeah, no, what are you saying? Performers, I don't know. I just feel like now there's been a, a lot more of a heavier... Um, they n- said Dodger. Dodger Cat is around and we need to start Yeah, dancing. Dodger Cat is kid. Yeah, literally. Because, I, I, I mean, there's been a lot of people that have been in the game and they're not dancers. They're not the strongest of dancers. Mm-hmm. I don't feel like Cardi B is the strongest of dancers. I don't feel like... Um, Meg the Stallion is the strongest of dancers, but obviously they have a choreographer team yeah, that make up. it work. Do you know what I'm saying? They make it work. Now dancing and the whole performance has become a big, big thing. I think the problem with Sweetie is that she just is not a performer. She's pretty privileged. She's just finest. pretty privileged. If I'm there sorry. Was a picture dictionary, yeah, and pretty privileged was there. Sweetie's supposed to be there. Hundred percent, hundred percent. No stage. Pro- every time, ev- literally, this girl is always getting corned specifically for her performances. That performance was so bad. The DJ had a better stage presence the than D- her. The DJ said, yeah, DJ, "That's my best friend." The DJ was wait, giving more wait. energy. Like I feel so sorry, and it's like because now they feel like obviously now we're in the TikTok age, so Everyone's everybody's making up routines because it's go- the, the routines are going viral yeah. and they're boosting up mm. um, streaming sales. Mm. People feel like they need to. Be dancing to come with routines, but sweetie, babe, you're but, not a dancer. Yeah, but even when she went dancing, she was shit. It was, it was so embarrassing. She was, they're my best friend. <laughs> In the real, <laughs> come on, <laughs> like it was just give it. <laughs> that's my, that's my best. Someone <laughs> get her an asthma pump, <laughs> baby. She's like, <laughs> <"Sama>, <laughs> And she said one minute, and then there was a time where you lot thought that she forgot her lyrics. She was gasping for breath. She was like, "Y'all give me one minute." I just, I just need a second. You, no, it's when no, 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 no. It's when she sang so terrible, yeah, and uh-huh. it was so funny. The DJ said, "Sing it, sing what, <laughs> sing what, sing what." <laughs> She sang so terribly, and the DJ said, "Sing it." Why? Oh you, why did my god! Oh, it was like running. Fr- it was like you know when you just climb up a flight of stairs and you just no. I feel like, hey, I haven't taken that much breath in ages. It was <laughs> so bad. Oh it's my terrible. days! I feel for like you. I don't know. And do you know what? Yeah, I've been hearing that she's been going. She went to like a boot camp, a performance boot camp. If that's yeah, you, boot camp. if that's you after the boot camp. What was refund. you prior to the boot camp? I want to if that's how if that's what she's asked to become on a refund. I want a refund, everything, and I want compensation. If I want to know how bad her performance is prior to the because if that's your level after the boot camp, after the training that you did, this is how you came out. Side sidebar. I know Quaver's at home. Bossing up <laughs> facts. Fuck Quaver, but I know listen, I hate what don't you hate it? Why do you I hate when people give give their ex opportunity? <laughs> So irritating, bro. I know Quavers are um, bossing up. I hate that. I hate that. even a lot of people were talking about um I believe it's Jesse Nilsson's performance at the same um at Who? the same before um what's this? Oh Jesse Nilsson. Wait, talk about ball, you friend. In a minute, in a minute. I don't even know what Why that. was her tongue outside of my flat? She was g- Can I just say how come, how come how come how come when White girls want to download attitude. The snarl starts coming up. The 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 the, the, the head bop. The 
when they wanna when they wanna download attitude it's this jesse became a bubblehead that her tongue was doing why was her time. tongue coming out of her mouth in the sheets in the sheets <laughs> and it's in the, the, in the sheets <laughs> <laughs> like i just thought oh my god it was <laughs> the attack like, can i just say i think as a singer jesse nelson is amazing is it Nelson or Nelson? Whatever it is. Justin Nelson is an amazing singer. Bit of my eyelash show because I can, I can see this. Nelson, yeah, talking clearly. I feel like that aesthetic they're trying to push for her is not her. We love talent regardless. Look at fucking Adele. We, I can never compare Justin Nelson to Adele. But Adele is herself. She doesn't try she to do... She puts on bronzer and don't turn black. She can be herself authentically, a white woman with a beautiful, soulful voice. I, I listened to her her recent album. There was nothing about it that was trying to be anything else that she's not. She's authentic. She's she to herself. She appreciates black artists. She appreciates black artists, but she knows just because hip hop is trending, it doesn't mean I now should be saying, I want a bad, bad boy. Can Your I'm, ex was on Love Island. Babe, it's just, just see, man. Jesse, speaking of Adele, did you see the um the trend that was going on with the backing dancers? Because someone tweeted that, oh, how come Adele doesn't have backing dancers? And then everybody was like, Adele's music is very mellow and soulful. I just feel like people online are so stupid, yeah. Very stupid. So I'm seeing all them Meg the Stallion and Adele remix. Have you seen them on TikTok? You just wanna let me down, let me down, Jesse. It's shit. What? It's shit. Sorry, I love it. It's I shit. love it. I'm here for it. It's shit. It's shit. They yes, were doing it to be a joke the beat, because the beat makes sense. It was shit. a joke because what song? Why are you? Who, why are you popping and locking to Adele music? What backing dancers? I see every new remix. I see a remix every five minutes. I'm just like, it's you shit. just wanna let me down, let me down gently. No, <laughs> sorry, you, it's shit, but you know it. It's, it's shit. shit. Uh, it, that, listen, it's I love dance dancing dances. Moves. Honestly, I wish that I could do more TikTok dances. Mm. But I feel like my TikTok is just for cocktails and takeaways, I isn't it? I've got too much shame. I wouldn't mind doing it, you know. I wouldn't mind getting into it, you know. I would not mind that. Still you just want to let me down, let me... D- but yeah, honestly, I, I, I wish Sweetie the best of luck because at this point, I don't know. I feel it's like... It's so bad. It's, it's terrible. We, people need to start taking books from Doja she Catman. She's running the fucking game, bro, oh, at the moment. Doja fucking Catman. Up and down, up and down. I even tweeted a few days ago. Was it yes, a few days ago or last night? She gave French Montana a banger for fun. Doja cat. Bitch, a hood rat bitch. I haven't heard it. Huh? You have. You have. You, saw have, it. you have. You have. You have. I just don't. There's a, there's a lot of songs that I don't know is Doja Cat that ends up being Doja Cat. Like on TikTok, you. Banger. Th- if you got Doja on there, it's a banger. Nah, I definitely need to get. But guys, if you guys want to get involved with Hot Topics of the Week, can you. Guys, seriously, can you not follow me on fucking Twitter? CNT Podcast. Don't, don't joke around. Seriously, okay. follow us. Follow us because we actually, I actually don't have any followers there and I want to talk don't to Don't follow me because I tweet for myself and you'll see something offensive and <laughs> all views are my own. <laughs> I tweet for myself. You see people on Twitter, yeah, like I, whenever I open an app, I'm just like I think Twitter's very bad vibes. No no, Twitter can be bad vibes, yeah. We understand that. But it's just like I just can't deal with the beggy behavior. Like people actually beg on the app. And I'm just do you like think so? I know I see it, I'm just like, do you not feel sick? Where's your home training? Where's your parents? I'm finished. Where's your, like, oh, because I see people literally tweet for other people. I'm just like, so, so your account's for you, other people. I saw something today and I thought you nerd. It was, oh, this is what he said. And the fact I remember it knows how triggered I was about. He was like, oh, I wish I had, I wish I had a, um, five million pounds so that I can infiltrate the beauty industry and make my, make the, make my woman's body hmm? the beauty standard so she feels accepted and you all, fucking nerd bro all that soliloquy just for you to say you want your, your wife to look better just tell us you hate your you hate your wife you know what he was trying to say is i want to have all the money in the world so that i can infiltrate the fashion industry Boom. and make sure and make my woman my woman's body the beauty standard i thought you fucking nerd fam it's okay to be bad it's you know with that yeah it's okay to be bad vibes like it's okay it's <laughs> actually okay because no, i know what it is it's not bad vibes he was trying to be cute but it's, it's it working. was giving simp 
Simp. It was given simp, bruv. Simp. You know when you can tell someone is trying to win points with the girls? Like, just say you want to eat did some Did she pussy. DM you? Yeah, seriously. Did, did she, she suck her cock? Did she finally <laughs> DM you like you did wanted? Did she give you her number? Bro, bro. <laughs> no, man. I'm just like, I try to be my authentic self on Twitter because I just see so much bullshit. I, I, I could never tweet for the next person. And I just see people all the time just tweet for other people. And it's just like, just get a grip. Get Facts. A, get a Nerds. Grip. Question of the week. So basically, it's coming to the end of the year. What have you learnt this year? What has this year taught you? You can start while I think of my answer. Okay, I'll start. I think this year has told me it's okay to be a bit reckless. Okay. Like, I feel like I I, I haven't taken enough risks in the past. Mm. I feel like this year I've probably done the most riskiest things I've ever done in my life. Mm-hmm starting cocktails and takeaways was one of them there was another um obviously business move i I made in terms of obviously what i do full time Mm -hmm. and they both have paid off like exponentially so i feel like risk takers this year definitely won Mm -hmm. everyone that did something ballsy that i've spoken to has actually ended up pulling through which i think was amazing so i'm i'm really really happy about that Mm. What have I learned this year? I have learned, yeah. I've, so I've been new this year, but I had to like proper like put it into into place this year. You can't do with me any anyhow, you know. <laughs> you can't. You can't do with me any anyhow. Facts. I am not your son. I'm I'm not your daughter. I'm not your pet. I'm not your mom. I'm not your dad. I'm not. I'm not related to you. Where where we know each other, but we're still strangers in the universe. Like you actually can't do with me any and anyhow. Periods. I'm not your mates. And I've had to like cut people off and just like cuz you see me I don't I don't have enough friends to cut them to cut people off like the friends that I make I vet them very well yeah and they had to stay in it. The people that I've had to vet out I'm just like yeah no I can't do this. I can't do this. There's no way. I just learned that whatever you need to do do it. Absolutely. If anyone's chatting shit tell them to chat shit. If you need to cut them off Fucking cut them off. Don't wait until New Year's. Do it right now. If you need to say something, say it. If you feel disrespected, say it. Definitely. Being more ballsy about your opinions and how you feel about things is so vital. Yeah. Like, so many people bottle up shit that they're feeling about a person, about a situation, Mm -hmm. and allow people to walk all over them. Like one... Like like your one dusty doormat. Like one bathroom mat. You can imagine. One dusty doormat. No, 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 no. 2022, we're going to say on our man. And do you know 22, what? 2022, right now. What time right is it? Now. Right now. 4 uh, What's the time? What day is it? Friday? Hey, Saturday? Saturday at 4.49. You've changed. Whoever it is that's troubling you, go and message them. Time to fuck off. I actually just have to fuck off. Because at the end of the day, like, it's like, I don't want to, I don't want to um, replace, substitute my peace hmm. Because I want to offend, because I don't want to offend people, Mm-mm. and I think that's what a lot of people do. A lot of people don't want to upset people, which is why they let certain things slide. Mm-hmm. But you know what? Yeah, respectfully, fuck all that, bruv. But you know, with that being said as well, another thing that I've learned is that um, you've got to, you've got to be able to take yourself out of situations and analyze the whole thing as a whole, mm-hmm. and be like, am I moving mad? Objectively, yeah. Is this warranted? Is this person crazy? Is this person going through something dumb right now? So you can't just be cutting people off for the sake of cutting people off. Facts. You need to be you need to be self aware enough to 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 self to assess the situation and be like, is this good for me? Yeah. If it's calm for you, then address it in a different way. But if it's not, get rid. Throw it in the bin. And I think we said this. I can't remember if it was you that was what I was speaking to, but it's okay to get rid of people. Yeah. Like seriously, I'm really I, I'm okay with distancing myself from people that don't offer me peace yeah that i know that don't believe in me i need people to believe in my madness Mm -hmm. like everything that i want to do none of my friends not one should be telling me i don't think that's a good idea none of them should not be trying to deter me but if a friend said to you are like let me just show you what the cons are because right now you're just showing me the pros yeah i don't want i don't i don't want to hear it you don't want to hear it at all. If I'm passionate about some, if I'm passionate about something, I hear it. But what if they, what if they share the same passion? They're like, I cool, I understand it. But let's just drag no, you. From, I want people to be mad like me. Wait, 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 let's just drag you from the heavens real quick and put you on earth. 
Because I, I feel like I'm that kind of friend. I'm like, right, cool, that's great news. Like, that's absolutely amazing. That's great stuff. But just, just think about these one, two, three, four, five things before you. <laughs> Listen, the, the, if the loss is death, tell me. If it's not death, we're going all the way. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'm, I'm really, really that type of bitch. Fair enough. I'm really, really that type of bitch. But what are your plans for 2022? What are your... What to do fucking you f- stay alive, bruv, because COVID is eating everyone softly. Can we just say, bruv, at least 30 December's back on, though. Yeah. Um, They've opened up all the borders now. Yeah. So they said... So basically, they locked all the African countries down. And then they said, oh, well, um... Sorry, guys, we decided to... Um, about that. <laughs> sorry <don't>. about that. <laughs> you th- <laughs> I'm just joking with you now. <laughs> Come on, we are just joking. Why would, why would you do something? Have you seen that meme on, um, on TikTok? You can't trick me. <laughs> you can't <laughs> trick me. <laughs> <laughs> we were just ducking so now everyone's going back to do dirty December I'm sadly I'm not going to be there yeah no I'm not even um, very I'm, sad my December is looking incredibly squeaky clean what as in not doing nothing I'm not doing a god I'm not doing dirty December so it's, it's going to be squeaky clean mm, 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 I hear it. I which is quite sad but next year we go again I think definitely we need to travel yeah 100% 100% and I'm so sorry I I, I hate conforming especially when it, the conforming don't make sense but I might have to get vaccinations to be able to go <gasps> I'm not going to speak on my vaccination status. She's deaf for vaccination. She's got the first one. She's waiting for the second one. Um, yeah, no, because work. I'm it? not speaking about my vaccination. If I can't go anywhere because of work, I'm not letting Boris shake my shit because it's I, need to, true. I need a vaccination. And a lot it's of like, work is it's away next forced. Year. It's forced, but it's not forced at the same time. And do you know how much I hate conforming to the shitty government? But I'm having to do so because of I work. really hope they swap Boris and they're like, okay, you lot. Like, someone comes into power. Bro, my hair is pretty Patel. Oh, fuck. Well She's the next one. Uh, she. Brother. we're done we're done we're done we're done we're it's done. over it's absolutely over but guys for me cocktails and takeaways next year what if i can take it over you know i think i need it what if i can take it over i think everything that we've achieved so far with the show and all the support has been absolutely incredible like i couldn't thank my supporters enough my people enough for just having a motherfucking good time with me man honestly <laughs> why are you drinking magnum and red bull because i can't drink the magnum on its own you're so but, like the, batteries, what, remember? but you said you like orange juice you haven't touched the orange juice that i bought you because i got the maggie i'm so sorry save it for when i come next time yeah because i'm sure it will is it not a fridge huh? yeah there is a fridge yeah. i don't think it will hold Anyways, guys, honestly, I want to say a big thank you to the Cocktails and Takeaways gang. I appreciate you a lot so much. I don't think anyone knows how much I appreciate the Cocktails and Takeaways gang. But, guys, I thought this is going to be the last episode of the year. Wow. And it's going to be me topping it off. Like, yeah, we have, to, we, have to, we have to end it with Myers, man, of course. <laughs> but I think I'm going to close it there. Guys, also, I want to know in the comments what have you learnt in 2021 that's why it's an open-ended question hot topics of the week what have you learnt I've learnt that my nation I've learnt that UK guys need to go in a bin they do I've learnt that my nation (laughs) (laughs) not in the whisper not in the whisper my nation but guys what have you learnt I want to know I want to know what everyone has learnt this week this year I listen, I'm still hoping I'm still squeak hoping for love, you know. I, I will say man ain't shit, but still be sitting next to my nigga happily. Facts. Oh my god, that is so me. But at the moment I'm I'm very sick. I, I hope by Valentine's Day I find someone. That's the next one, please. Prospects for watching Valentine's Day is coming up. <laughs> so um, you know what to do. Not the MS SMR. <laughs> But guys, thank you so so much. I'm wishing you a merry, merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And a happy new year. Happy new year. Merry Merry. Enjoy it. Uh, Dirty December. Enjoy. Clean December. Enjoy. Everybody uh, enjoy. We're gonna kill it for them. Enjoy. We're gonna have fun. Uh, enjoy. Yeah, yes, yeah. Uh, enjoy. Cocktails and takeaways. Uh, enjoy. Yeah. We're gonna do that. Yeah. Slip on your slur. Uh, what is the word? Uh, eat your jello fries and enjoy. Alright, guys, guys, let's let's wrap up. Let's wrap up. I love you guys. I wanna miss you, miss you. I wanna wish you a merry <laughs> <laughs> I want to wish you a merry merry Christmas Miles what do you want to say to the people hey 
One life. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Merry Christmas from the CNT gang and the happy motherfucking Woo! new year. We'll see you in the new year. Yeah. And we 